mademoiselle and ça c'est deuxième chanel loin and jodia and today we are going to be talking about zombies okay jodia and we'll talk about zombies on haiti now before we get started i already know y'all gonna be like oh my god like where your lashes from okay kote on juin for plumier okay i got it from hortense hibiscus okay this video is sponsored by hortense hibiscus if you want some good quality magnetic lashes and definitely head to their site right now and cop you a pair but if you are falling on hard times and you can't afford to get you a pair i'm doing a giveaway i am giving away two sets of hortense hibiscus eyelashes okay these are two different kinds they're both really really pretty they sent me four and i kept two and i was like you know what i might as well just give these away so if you would like to join the giveaway all the details will be in the description or the pinned comment down below all you have to do is subscribe to my youtube channel follow me on instagram and follow my main channel and you have to do all of these because i will be checking okay make sure you head down to the link down in the description or in the pinned comment down below to enter also have to comment what is your zombie story or what is your understanding of zombies also please note that this giveaway is only open to u.s residents because it is very expensive to ship anywhere else other than the u.s so i'm very very sorry you must also be at least 13 in order to enter this giveaway i will be ending this giveaway at the end of this month so the last time you can enter is may 31st 2020 after that i'm sorry wait for the next giveaway okay this is my first sponsor and also my first giveaway so i'm really really excited but nonetheless let's get straight into the video now, zombies have always been a phenomenon, especially to people who are not Haitian or are not familiar with the Haitian culture. There are zombies in other countries and in other places, but since a lot of people claim that they experience these things in Haiti, that is why we know them as the zombies we do today. The cause of this seems to stem from the fact that there were a lot of like US um, soldiers that were stationed in Haiti for a very long time. And you know, just from people, various people who have spent an uh, extended amount of time in Haiti, who came back to report that there were a lot of crazy things going on in Haiti. They basically told people their stories. There were numerous books, movies, screenplays written on the concept of Haiti's zombies. This is why, as you already know, it is definitely dramatized, traumatized, traumatized, you get the point. It's over exaggerated to the gods, okay? The whole concept of the Haitian zombie in America is really, really hollywood is. It's not really technically what it is. Basically, the word zombie comes from the Congo word en zombie, okay? That is where it comes from. And basically, the word was kind of watered down due to, you know, slavery and colonization and all that extra shit. So we just call them zombies now. This video is based on a lot of the things that I heard growing up, as well as some research that I had to do. Please do your own research and ask your own people for the zombie stories and zombie clarifications. I also have lots of resources linked down below so that you could look into it yourself. Uh, there is a, a YouTube uh, series that was done by Vice about Haitian voodoo, but to be honest, that shit didn't really seem very credible. Like it looked like they just got duped by a fake voodoo priest. I don't know, that ain't, he ain't come off like a buckle to me, but who knows, what do I know, right? But anyhow, y'all free to watch that. I'll link everything down below. Now, when I was younger, my parents always used to tell me that zombies always worked in the fields. Um, they basically just did manual work and they weren't like real people. They always told me that they were just, you know, dead people that had to pay their debts to society for the bullshit that they did. And it's very, very interesting because um, I asked people, again, it's been mad long, it's been very, very long. I asked people, did some research, and that's essentially what it is. Um, most zombies are not gonna come in contact with you. They keep their heads down. They're not really like confrontational. It's not like one of those things where it's like, oh, my dad died, I miss him, let me make him a zombie so he can come back to me. It's definitely not that. A lot of people believe that, you know, zombies are like evil and, you know, they eat your flesh and they do all of this crazy shit to you. But in actuality, zombies are actually pretty docile. They're pretty calm and they don't really like interact with people whatsoever. Okay. They're not zombie eating flesh monsters that come after you at midnight and all that shit. No, no, no. Zombies stay to themselves for the simple fact that zombies do not have a soul. That's basically what a zombie is. It is a living dead person. But as you can see, that's an oxymoron. They're dead, but they're living. Let me just explain. Realistically speaking, you can only 
literally be turned into a zombie by a voodoo boko. And again, contrary to popular belief, a voodoo boko is not about to go around just like turning anyone into a zombie for no fucking reason, okay? In the voodoo religion, you can either die one of two ways. Either naturally by God's will or unnaturally. So murder, all types of shit. Naturally would be sickness, stuff like that. So what happens is the voodoo, in the voodoo religion, they believe that if you die unnaturally, your soul is not at rest. Basically, they believe that your soul lingers around because you have been killed in a sense that was not just. Now, a lot of the time, since this person's soul is vulnerable, they will be snatched up by a boku. So that happens a lot of times where they just, you know, snatch your soul up and be like, hey, listen, you're mine now. A lot of the times people are turned into zombies for the simple fact that they just ain't shit people. The whole point of a zombie is basically to punish the person who is being turned into a zombie. See, now in America, we throw people in jail. In other places, you know, back in the day, they used to cut people's heads off. In Haiti, in order to punish people by their horrible acts, they would just turn them into zombies. You might be thinking like, okay, but what does that do for them, you know? For a lot of Haitian people, especially people who practice voodoo, they do not believe in killing people. That's why people try to use voodoo for bad and try to like send spells against people and kill people. It always comes right back to them tenfold because again, voodoo, the voodoo religion does not believe in killing people. So their way of punishing people who commit cruel acts is to take their soul away from them or basically take the personality or part of their personality that leads them to do bad things. Basically what happens is they take this person, right, and they give them a concoction. It is like some sort of a poison. It's mixed with tetradexin, I can't really say this, but TTX for short. Okay, it's mixed with TTX and a whole mixture of other things such as toads, tarantulas, serpents, all types of shit, okay? This concoction is given to the person and the person is basically put in a very, very like crazy comatose state to the point where they look like they're dead. The point where a doctor or anyone else would look at them and think that they're actually dead when they're genuinely not. Now the way they get these substances is um, from local animals. Now the TTX is usually derived from pufferfish. Um, pufferfish does have a venom in them which is TTX and usually they extract that to make the poison. Um, there's a toxin called bufatin, bufatin, which is extracted from toads. And basically a combination of that does put you in a coma-like state. So when the person is given this concoction, they, they go through the whole process of, you know, being buried. You know, they go to the morgue, they're dating, they have a whole funeral, they get put into the ground and everything. But it doesn't stop there. When the person is buried, the Boko basically goes and digs up the body. Digs up the body and brings it to his, you know, house, I guess. Well, his sanctuary, whatever the case may be. Now, at this point, they give you the zombie cucumber. Now, this basically revives the person back, okay? And brings them in a zombie-like state basically making them succumb to the vocals every single word. It's a very, very important part because at this point, this is basically where they're taking your soul, okay? Zombie cannot speak and does not have its past personality. At this point, their soul is gone and they're just, you know, a vehicle to do whatever the hell it is the Boko wants them to do. Now, in some zombification rituals, you need the hair or some type of possessions of the person. And usually when the Boko takes this person's soul, they're taking the T-Bon-Ange, which is basically the personality of the person. They take this and they put it in like a bottle or like a little container along with the possessions of that person. They wrap it up and they store it in a very secret place. Absolutely no one knows where this is and you know the only time that this zombie can be released is when the boko dies it's also said that you can turn a zombie back to i guess its grave by giving it salt i believe this was a throw salt at it i'm not sure guys definitely clarify down below if you know and basically this makes the zombie return to its place of rest or attack the boko that turned them into a zombie there are two types of zombification where they take your soul and just do whatever it is that they need to do with your soul or they use your body in the fields or whatever it is that they want you to do around for them sometimes this can also be a positive thing because some people like say like a really really hard working person they're like okay you know i genuinely don't want to just lay in a grave until you know the lord come gets me or whatever the case may be so i would much rather work and be a zombie there's some people that actually think that way believe it or not now again they can take your body or they can take your soul it depends on what it is that this buckle wants to do now whether you believe that zombies are real or not 
there is definitely an apparent type of psychosis that is going on within this person. TTX is a drug and it basically puts you in a very, very like drug induced state to the point where you may be pronounced dead by doctors when you're actually not. So whether these people actually die or not is up to your interpretation. A lot of people do believe that these people are indeed dead and are resurrected by Volko to do whatever it is that they, you know, want them to do or it is their punishment for being shitty ass people in life. While other people believe that since they use all of these combinations of drugs and all of this extra shit, it's all in their head. A lot of people believe that zombies, it's all psychological. Like it's not like a thing where they die and come back to life. It's one of those things where it's drugs and they are basically hypnotizing them and you know drugging them to the point where they are submissive they are terrified and they will do whatever it is they're told in order not to genuinely be hurt so there's a lot of people who think that it is a placebo now the reason we do not know too much about zombies is because anyone who has really tried to find out about zombies as you will see in this vice um documentary that i linked down below they usually get hoaxed okay i think that's a hoax like if y'all see that video you're like especially my Asian people jail killed all types of stuff so it's one of those things that's very very secret and the secret usually lies within the bizango people the bizango people of haiti they typically live in the mountains and they were formerly known as the mahon people who basically fought in the haitian revolution or were the spearheads of the haitian revolution now the bizango or bizango i don't know if i'm saying that right basically were the slaves that went to hide away to practice their ancient African religions. If you guys do not know when Haitians were enslaved or when anyone was enslaved, to be quite honest, because everyone was from Africa that was enslaved that came to the US and the Caribbean, they were trying to practice their religion. You know, they would do their rituals and stuff like that. And the white people, the slave masters were very, very afraid. They were like, mm, no, 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 y'all can't do that shit over here. That's how powerful they knew this shit was, okay? They was like, mm, I can't do y'all voodoo shit out here. Like, no. So they were sitting there trying to force Christianity upon them, trying to force them not to do voodoo anymore. So there was a sector of slaves that ran away, and they ran away deep into the mountains to still practice their religion. That was the Maroon people, but eventually I believe they ended up being called the Bazongo. Please correct me if I'm wrong down below. But the point is, they are the one that has the secret on how to make these potions and basically make zombies. And, you know, it's crazy because there's lots of common misconceptions that they are evil people. And at midnight, they go around looking for people to eat and all types of crazy shit. It's ridiculous. But nonetheless, it is very, very secret. From the exact concoction that is in, that is made to make people into zombies is secret. Not only because it is tradition, but also because it's one of those things that, if not done properly, can genuinely kill you. The zombification process is very, very intricate with everything being done at specific times. When the Volko starts the zombification process, he only has like a few days to really complete the process properly because if not, certain things can go wrong. For example, while you are underground, you're technically not dead. You're presumed dead, but you're not. You have a whole funeral process and I know you guys are going to be like, oh, but don't they take out the organs and do all of that shit? In Haiti, they don't do all of that, okay? They just clean you up, dress you up, and throw you in the ground because the process of like um death in haiti is very very rapid because it's really really hot like all of the, the the decaying of the body happens very very quickly so they don't do all of that extra shit that we do here in the u.s they don't embalm most of the time all that shit they, it's very rare unless the body's being transported but the point is so they don't have too much time to do this entire process after you're buried he has like maybe a day or two to go dig you back up then after that because if not you may die of asphyxiation underground okay or in the coffin after that they have to automatically make you succumb to whatever it is they want you to do because the shit can wear off and then after that you know like it, it's a lot of shit that goes into it therefore i don't think they would want this getting into the wrong hands because you already know people ain't shit when they get a hold of things that can control people they use it okay therefore it's one of those things that is best kept a secret if it's none of your business don't dibble and dabble in it now i know a lot of you are probably watching this like this shit is not real it makes no goddamn sense well there is actually one confirmed case of a legit zombie medically scientifically proven zombie and his name is Clarice Narcisse. One day Clarice Narcisse was pronounced dead okay back in I believe the 1980s I may have the dates wrong 
And later on, he showed up in his old village. Like, kid you not. Now, when I mean pronounced dead, I'm talking about one American doctor and another American trained doctor. These doctors both went to school in America, okay? They were legit renowned doctors. They weren't no newbies. They weren't no, like, you know, fresh out of college. No, they were doctors. And they both witnessed his death and they pronounced him dead. After they pronounced him dead, Clarice showed up in his old village claiming, yeah, you know, I'm a zombie now, I'm Clarice, whatever. And, you know, they ran tests on him and all types of shit and no one could explain, like, how was this possible? Now, it's not just Clarice. There is a, a lot of other people who have come forward to say, yeah, mm -hmm, I'm a zombie. Now, I know what you're thinking, like, but I thought you said they don't talk. I thought that that. Some of them actually do talk because some people are turned into zombies by will. Some people are like, you know what, when I die, I could be a zombie. Or, you know what, you know, they go to a bulk or they go to a higher power and they're like, you know what, I don't mind coming back as a zombie. It doesn't matter if I'm not, you know, exactly who I was before. I don't matter what it is that I'm doing. I just don't want to be laying around for the rest of my life or the rest of my dead life, whatever. So there are people who, are vol who do voluntarily become zombies. I mean, he ended up dying not too long after anyway, so yeah, that's just one story. There's like numerous reports of people returning from the dead, okay? Do I believe in zombies? To be quite honest with you, I do believe that they exist. But I do believe that a lot of it may be psychological because when you really think about it, if you take someone who's alive and you poison them to the point where you think that they're dead, but they're not, or they think at least that they're dead, but they're not, it's very, very traumatized. You really gotta think about it. Like if someone literally like gives you poison and you're like knocked out cold, literally get put in a coffin, you have an entire ceremony and you're put into the ground, that's very, very traumatizing. So at that point, you better succumb to everything that's going on around you because you don't want no other bullshit to happen to you, okay? So that's what happens because like when you're in this coma-like state, you're still aware of everything that's going on. You can't speak, you can't walk, you can't talk, like you can't do anything. Like you're very, very like much, pretty much dead. So like imagine if you are in this state and you are literally like seeing your funeral, well, hearing your funeral, you be put into the ground and you get, you know, taken back out. That's pretty, very traumatizing. And one could think, okay, my God, I died and I just came back to life. You know, like there's a lot of things that could be going through your head. So it can be very, very psychological where in theory, it can be very, very real where they do actually kill these people to bring them back to life. Or it can be one of those situations where people actually do genuinely go and ask to become zombies. Nonetheless, I think I'm very, very 50-50 with the zombie thing. I know that zombies exist, but I don't think that zombies exist in the way that people have always explained it as, oh my God, dead people coming back to life type shit. Like, I don't think it's one of those things where I could just go to my homie that died a couple weeks ago and be like, hey, yo, rise up. Like, or go to a buckle and be like, hey, I want my friend to be alive. I don't think it's that type of situation. I feel like it's one of those things where it just puts the person into a really, really deep psychosis. But I mean, the world may never know because this is a very, very secret situation that um they don't want anyone to know about they don't want anyone to infiltrate that part of the culture whatsoever very very secret and i'm just talking from experience and the things that i was able to look up comment down below what are your boko stories okay what are your voodoo stories what are your mermaid stories what are your zombie stories your loop vowel stories listen i want to hear all of it down in the comment section below make sure you comment your zombie stories in order to be entered into the giveaway you head down to the link okay you have to go to the link to enter into the giveaway okay again you have to enter to the link the link to be entered into the giveaway okay so make sure you like share subscribe do all that and i'm gonna see y'all next time